Welcome to Subwoofer World again. So today I'm going to try a mixture between a reversed and fired or gradient array and a end fired subarray. First the gradient part, sub 2 is my zero reference point. Sub 1 will be phase aligned via delay to sub 2 measured at the rear mic position. After that polarity reversed. The end fired part of the array uh, sub 2 is still my reference point, so 0 milliseconds. And sub 3 will be phase aligned to sub 2 measured at the front mic position via delay. Okay. Here's Smart 8 running pink noise. Uh, let's activate subwoofer 2, which would be my reference sub. Activate mic 1. And also activate mic 2, the orange one. There you go. So I want to do the gradient part first, which would mean aligning subwoofer 1 to subwoofer 2 measured at the rear mic position. Store sub 2 for a reference and mute subwoofer 2, unmute subwoofer 1 and let's see what's happening at the back. So I need to implement about 4 milliseconds of delay on subwoofer 1 to get it phase aligned with subwoofer 2 again measured at the rear mic position so 4 milliseconds of delay and enable delay and there you go subwoofer 1 is now phase aligned with subwoofer 2 at the rear mic position store this trace for reference So now I need to reverse polarity on subwoofer 1 because I want to reduce the level at the back. So now it's 180 degrees out of phase all over the range the subwoofers are working. Now let's see if there is a reduction in the level at the back mic position. So some subwoofer 1 and 2 and you can see the orange trace going down by about 6 dB. The red trace would be the reference trace I captured. Well, this works, so let's capture this trace and move on. Now the end fired part. Uh, sub 2 is still my reference sub and sub 3 needs to be phase aligned via delay to sub 2 at the front mic position. And here you go. That's the front mic with subwoofer 2 so let's store this one for reference. Okay, let's move to the processor. Un and mute subwoofer 2 and unmute subwoofer 3. Subwoofer 3 needs delay to be phase aligned with subwoofer 2. So that should be about 4 to 4.5 milliseconds. Four milliseconds and it's close but we can do better increase delay uh, that's too much decrease and there you go now it's phase aligned and you will see a rising level when I add subwoofer 2 now let's add subwoofer 1 
first this would be sub 2 and 3 add sub over 1 the level changes in the back that's about a 12 to be less at the back but let's see if we can do better here's a little sidetrack for you guys sub 1 is phase aligned at the rear mic position 4 milliseconds of delay on that one this means it's laid by about 8 milliseconds at the front mic position that will cause a challenge in the crossover area between your mains and sub I'll mute subwoofer 3 in this example and there you go let's mute subwoofer 3 okay. and now take off store traces for a moment and now you can see that the front mic, the green one has a different magnitude response compared to orange so this is typical behavior when implementing a gradient subwoofer array well let's take a look at the far field mics in a gradient convict here you see the yellow trace far field mic front and the white trace far field mic rear. Clearly you can see a level offset by about 30 dB and the bump past 125. Okay, let's see if we can do better. So by adding subwoofer 3 there will be less reduction at the back but a better response out front. Okay, let's add subwoofer 3. There you go. Less level reduction at the back, but a better response out front. So now I need to see if I can do better. To see that, I need to mute subwoofer 1. There you go. Now you see the end fired effect between sub 2 and 3 I'll take off the front mic far field for a moment there you go and capture this trace so now I need to mute sub 2 and 3 and unmute sub 1 and implement a parametric EQ to get the magnitude response matching to s the sum of subwoofer 2 and 3. So there's two things you need to remember. You might want to limit the setup on the input side of the complete subwoofer array because as soon as you hit the limiters of sub 2 and 3, sub 1 still has uh, some db is left, so your cardioid effect will be destroyed by that. The second thing, the phase response changes on subwoofer 1 as soon as I implement the parametric EQ. And now it's 180 degrees out of phase to the sum of sub 2 and 3, which was actually the thing I needed to accomplish. Here you see me playing with the bandwidth of the parametric EQ. A little bit less. Okay. And now let's unmute subwoofer 2 and 3 and get the front mic in again. There you go. So at the rear mic position you end up with a lot of reduction and the front mic far field shows a really nice response. And the offset is about 12 to be to 30 25 to 30 to be less level in, in the back. So in the last part of this capture you'll see in the top screen 
the near field mics so green would be front and orange would be the back microphone position and in the bottom screen you'll see the far field mics where yellow would be far field front and white will be far field rear and there you go so the top screen level offset minus 15 2 plus 18 that's about 33 to 34 to be down then it goes at about 80 to uh, 24 25 to be reduction that's pretty good and in the bottom you can see the deepest cancel at about 25 to be down so it works and enjoy hope you liked it